Greetings, peace be with you. In this video, you're gonna discover how to get your life back together step by step using the five step proprietary framework that I'm gonna be revealing to you right now. And make sure to stick to the very end of this video because once you identify which one of these five steps you are lagging in, then you will identify your maximum room for improvement in creating a life that you love. Now, with that being said, welcome to the fourth video in the Monk Mode series. For those of you that have checked out the previous videos, know that I have read each and every single comment that you've left and it really makes my heart sing over here because I've been reading what you guys are actually committing to after watching each one of those videos, right? It's so easy to binge on YouTube, to watch video after video after video without actually implementing. But the fact that you guys are committing in the comment section and writing down, I'm gonna do some push-ups, I'm gonna go make my music, I'm gonna get my room together. Whatever it is that you wrote down, know that I read each and every single comment and it's provided me with so much insight and joy to see that you guys are actually committing to make changes in your life, okay? And also, if you have been following the previous videos, you know that today is the launch of the Monk Mode Challenge. So if you wanna get more information on that, you can open up a new tab in your browser window right now, go to monkmochallenge.com, see everything that it's about and really get into it. I would love to work with you in there, right? So the five step process on how to get your life back together. And this all starts with the first step, which is awareness around where you are right now. If you wanna get from point A to point B, yes, it's important to know where point B is, but we have to know where we're starting off, right? Where is point B? We need awareness on our current situation. And there are three things that you need to develop an awareness around, okay? The first step is where you spend your time. At the end of the day, we all have the same 24 hours in a day, but what makes the difference is how we spend that time, right? So if you run an audit of how you spend your time, where does your energy go, right? You have the 24 hours, but where we put our energy is what we get out of life, right? You get what you give in this life. And also where you spend your money, where do you invest your money, right? Tracking that, getting an awareness on your time, your energy and your money so that you know why you are where you are, right? In life, like I said, you get what you give. And once you realize that, you begin taking responsibility for where you are. And only when you begin to take responsibility is when you give yourself the power to change, okay? If you blame anything other than yourself, yeah, everything might not be your fault, but if you blame, complain, or make excuses, then this is probably not the right channel for you anyway, okay? So the first step is to get an awareness on where you stand right now. And the best way to do that is really to run an audit of how you spend your time, how you spend your energy, and where you spend your money. Okay, get an awareness on those things, where you stand in those departments. Now, the second step is to develop an intention okay once you know where point a is where is point b because if you don't know where point b is if you don't know what you seek to achieve specifically then you are a ship without a sail you are a leaf in the wind without direction if you don't have direction then any road will take you there right if you don't know where you're going any road will take you there so it's very important to get an intention in place and what is intention exactly right because people are like yeah i want to make more money yeah i desire to get in a relationship but these are disempowering frameworks okay the more that you want something the more you vibrate at the frequency of not having it the more that you want to be in a relationship the more you're vibrating that i don't want don't don't have it right now that i'm not worthy and capable and deserving of it right the more that you want money the more that you desire money the more you are attached to the outcome of getting it and the more you vibrate at the frequency of repelling it right we don't want to repel we want to attract that which we want to create right so Intention is a desire without an attachment to the outcome. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. What is within your control is your behavior, your attitude towards what happens when you take action, all right? So the second step is setting that intention and making sure that you are moving on to the third step after you set that intention, right? So intention is desire without an attachment to the outcome because then if you are attached to the outcome, you just become repellent to it, right? Your frequency is such that you're gonna repel it, right? If you wanna chase someone, right? I'm chasing girls right now, then that implies that they're running away. If you're chasing the bread, if you're chasing the money, then that implies that the money is running away from you, right? So the more you can begin to vibrate at the frequency of attracting it, 
that is what we want to do and that is really by becoming the type of person that is deserving of it okay so once you set your intention it is about application all right what can you do every single day to move towards that vision right so you set that vision okay the best way to do that is to reverse engineer it so let me ask you the question what like imagine that it's one year from now you're looking back a year from now and what would have to happen in that year for it to be the best year of your life how much money did you make what type of relations did you get into how much um how much uh, music did you produce? Whatever the specific numbers that actually define what that vision looks like, right? So once you have that vision in place, once you have that intention in place, then you begin to apply the behaviors that move you towards that vision, right? Step by step, piece by piece, march and march, you keep on going and you take those behaviors because you reverse engineered that vision and you broke it down to what I need to do right here, right now. And then you did that again and again and again, right down to your daily habits, to your weekly rituals, to your monthly rituals. And you're constantly applying your behaviors and taking action towards that which you seek to create. And of course, it's not all rainbows and butterflies because we take action and we get feedback, right? We get that feedback. It's like, okay, I took action. I got that feedback. And the next step in this process is to reflect on that feedback. Okay, understand that the most potent source of information that you can ever tap into can only come through taking action through which you get an experience, right? You can read all the books that you want on starting a business. You can read all the books that you want on how to swim properly, but unless you actually dive deep into the pool, you will not learn how to swim, right? So we have to take action, but that's not the only thing because you can just keep taking action. And some people take so much action that they don't actually reflect on it. They don't know what results are getting back. They don't look at the feedback. And then you look at them five years later and they're still in the same place. They're running on a treadmill right so it's very important to reflect on the action that we get having a spiritual discipline in place whereby you're looking at the feedback that you're getting through your actions right and once you reflect on those actions right you have these benchmarks you're like okay i intended on hitting a certain number of downloads for my music i intended on generating this much cash but this is what i actually got so how can i iterate right and that is really the fifth step over here to iterate based on your reflection right iteration is about how can i adjust my behavior how can i adjust my actions in order to move towards my vision that much faster right and again that is just a never ending feedback loop so it's a awareness right where am i intention where do i want to be application what behaviors do i have to exhibit to get to where i want to be reflection what happened what feedback did i get after taking action then iteration how can i adjust my behaviors moving forward in order to create the life that i seek to create right so troubleshooting this whole process really comes down to first and foremost it's like okay i know what i want i know what i'm supposed to do why can't i close the gap why can't i do what i know i'm supposed to do and in my experience the one thing that really separates information from implementation is accountability right the only reason that you don't do what you know you are supposed to do is because you are not accountable to it right once you get that accountability is when you have something to lose right and that is exactly why i created the monk mode challenge to give you that daily accountability every single day that you actually execute on the task that you actually implement and get the thing done that you were supposed to right so imagine if someone was there me precisely to tell you and hold you accountable and if you don't it's like why didn't you right getting an awareness and reflecting on why you didn't take right action because it's hard to see the picture when you are in the frame right and that's why working with a coach, working with someone who actually has been there and done that and give you perspective in terms of what you can improve on moving forward, giving you that insight is really the master key to reflecting properly, right? Reflecting on your feedback, because like I said, if you are inside the bottle, you can't read the label when you're inside, right? So that's why reflection is such an important aspect of it. And that is exactly why the monk mode challenge is a combination of all of these things, right? Giving you the daily tasks so that you actually implement, giving you that daily coaching so that you get an awareness, giving you that daily accountability so that you consistently take right action. Okay, so if any of my content on YouTube has resonated with you, if anything that I've said in my previous videos has hit the nail on its head and you're like, yo, this provided me some value, then I would love to see you inside the Monk Mode Challenge. And I invite you to open up a new tab right now, go to monkmodechallenge.com, see what it's all about and get into the program if you believe that it's something that can truly transform your life, right? Like I said, it's a combination of the daily tasks, breaking it down, right? It's not more information, 
it's what you can focus on today get done and then get on the call get that accountability get that coaching and coming together in a community that we can be supportive of each other give ourselves that accountability as well and really connect with a bunch of like-minded men that are on a similar frequency on a similar path and have a similar idea of what it truly means to be alive okay so with that i conclude this video i hope that you got value from it and i invite you to check out the monk mode challenge dot com to learn more about how you can create true lasting and permanent change over the next 30 days in which i'm going to be holding you by the hand and really showing you how to upgrade your mind and master your habits so that you can truly begin to create a life that you love so with that being said this has been mo here i hope you got value from this video and i will catch you in the next one